All right, everybody. Let's try this uh, again. This is uh, Danny Liu here. And so today I want to show you how to um, create a Udemy course in just a few minutes. So uh, let me just um, situate here. I'm using Ecamm Live for the first time. And uh, depending on how this works, I may just get it because it's actually really cheap um, considering all the other Facebook Live options out there. But anyway, to get back on, on the topic of today, so is how to create a Udemy course fast. And so if you, uh, if you don't already have sort of a course outline or something like that, I highly recommend the first thing you do is you start looking at building your outline, so creating your, your high-level outline of your course, um, and then working to record uh, your course um, using your built-in camera or, you know, I use a, uh, a Logitech um, camera webcam and it's really, really, uh, it really, really is efficient and the quality is really great. Um, as far as the actual course, now what we're going to do is use what, what's called the bulk uploader and a lot of online course creation software uses this, um, this, you know, sort of tool. Um, and what it really helps you do is if you have courses that are published on say another platform, um, maybe you have uh, a teachable platform or you have a uh, Thinkific or, or learn that wherever, wherever you're hosting your courses, um, you can do the same on Udemy. Now, why Udemy? All right, and, I, and, I, and this is what you know. Some people um, debate on whether or not they, they host their courses on their own site or on Udemy, and I suggest that you do both. Um, and a lot of people uh, that have seen lots of success suggest the same thing. Now, why is that? Well, if you're not uh, already an, an expert marketer, or if you don't have a, a really huge email list. Um, it can be a little bit deflating if you decide to uh, discount Udemy from the from the start and just go ahead and just you know start building your course and and uploading it to a private site that has no traffic, right? So what you want to do is uh, is really set yourself up for success and test the market early um, on a platform that has a lot of eyeballs and a lot of you know, exposure to people who are already looking to learn something. They're already looking for a course in, you know, related to uh, your topic. And with Udemy, it's a marketplace. And so there are people that are searching the search engine on Udemy for all different types of courses. So um, just a little primer on Udemy and why you should do, you should really look into that if you haven't yet. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to be testing a lot more of my courses. Uh, I do stuff, um, uh, yeah, I teach stuff, you know, regarding uh, project management, um, specifically around the Agile. I'm a certified uh, Scrum Master and, and Agile product owner. And so I te teach sort of concepts um, applying to a more of an entrepreneurial approach. Um, you know, regardless, I guess, you know, you, you could say a lot of the agile coaches out there teach how to get certified in agile. And that's not really what I'm doing. I'm really teaching how people like fellow, uh, you know, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs like myself who are trying to build courses and websites, uh, for their own brand, how to leverage agile principles and, uh, you know, build web, build, you know, effective websites, even if you don't know how to code, um, how to leverage, you know, like, um, virtual assistants. Um, in a, in a lean fashion, if you uh, if you've never hired before, and uh, and really just try to start from the ground up and building a successful online business. So anyway, that's a little bit about me, <clears throat> and uh, now we're going to go ahead and switch to the desktop view, and I'm going to show you how I bulk upload uh, my courses in Udemy. So here we go. I'm working on a project right now. Um, I have, I'm actually repurposing some content I already have on my Thinkific site. And so let me go ahead and share this. This is a great thing about live video. Um, sometimes things don't work out necessarily the way that you planned. All right. So I am switching over to, oh, okay. I see. Ecamm is pretty cool because um, it does give you some more options to play around with. Um, and so I'm going to put myself, okay, there we go. 
All right, so we're in picture, in picture here. So hopefully you can see the screen. And so here, here is my Thinkific account. So I actually have a Thinkific course that I've master your workflow that I've that I've hosted and uh, I've been selling on my own site. But I'm looking to build out more like newer courses on WordPress and other topics. And so I I could just immediately build them on my platform, which would be great. Um, but even to get even more of an impact and more exposure, what I can do is leverage a marketplace. And so I'm going to go into Udemy here, and you can see here I've um, taken some of the course content here, and I've modified it a little bit. And I changed the name here because it's really kind of, you know, I want to be able to leverage Udemy and their, you know, search engine. Like I, I used to do Kindle publishing, and so it's it's kind of similar in that regard where, you know, you have keywords that kind of associate with the topic of your, uh, of the title of your course, just like in Kindle, it's like the, you know, the title of your, uh, your book, right? So the bulk uploader is really cool because when you go in here, you click on bulk upload. Um, I have, let's see here, uh, we'll go to Google Drive. Um, I've got, all right, well. That's my freebie offer. Let me go back. And I've got products. There we go. Products in Google Drive. And I've got a courses and master your workflow. And so if I want to take a, a, a module here, um, let's say, you know, I've got this, this module here and I want to upload all of these. I already have these videos saved on Google Drive. Um, and they're not on Udemy yet. So I just selected all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and select six files. And I'm going to go do upload. So I just uploaded a whole module <laughs> in like a matter of like seconds. Um, so once they get uploaded, they process on the Udemy site. And then you can actually uh, create the sections or the lessons for each of those lectures. So that is really as simple as it gets. Um, you don't have to, uh, you know, mess around with doing a lot of manual ads and things like that. And so, um, Udemy is definitely a great place to build your brand and build your exposure, especially when you're someone who's just starting out. Um, but if you're someone who's been at it for a couple of years, like my, like I've been at this for a few years, um, it's great to get new leads and, and to get new exposure. So if you have a new course idea that you're trying to test out, um, you can do it do it in a two pronged approach. One is if you already have an existing audience, maybe on a Facebook group, social media, or your email list, then you you can email your list and ask them for feedback, right? And and if anybody wants a coupon code or whatever to start getting uh, some instant feedback from your audience. But if you don't, that's no problem. Um, you can just go on to Udemy and create uh, sort of a high level beginner kind of. Um, you know, framework for your course and then go ahead and unleash it to the market and get feedback that way as well. So anyway, I hope this video helps you think about leveraging Udemy uh, if you haven't already and uh, get started with creating some courses on the Udemy platform. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.